Next stop, the diner. Now we gotta go downstairs. That's where the diner is. Everybody eats there. Sometimes it gets real crowded. The summer sets are nice though. You'll like them. Hello, Austin. I see you're showing our guests from the Commonwealth around. Yes, ma'am. This is the Sunshine Diner. Grant says that they'll take all of our hard work and turn it into swill. Mr. and Mrs. Somerset run the diner. They're pretty nice. Mrs. Somerset's pies are the best. How's their food? Other than the pies. I like it. Mrs. Somerset always sneaks me seconds. I'll save you a slice of pie, Austin. Next stop, Horatio. I told you they were nice. Do you like your hair? I like mine. I hate combing it, though. Grand makes me comb it. Austin, that hair of yours is a mole rat's nest. <laughs> this is where Horatio fixes up people's hair. Aaron's mom comes here all the time. Grand hardly comes here at all. She makes me cut my hair, though. It's not fair. Ain't letting someone with a sharp instrument near my throat. He's never cut anyone. And he's even shaved men's faces with a razor. Next stop is Grand. Let's go see Grand. I live with her. She's not my real grandmother, though. My parents died when I was real little. Hi, Grand. Austin, what are you doing here? Are you bothering that stranger from the Commonwealth? I'm not bothering him. I'm helping him. Hmm. That's Grand. She takes care of me. You can call her Dr. Penske. She acts a little grumpy. That's not for real. Says you. She runs our hydroponics lab. It's where we get all our food. Sounds like she's a real pain in the ass. Hey, don't talk about my Grand like that. <laughs> I don't mind a little sass. Let it go, Austin. Next stop. Miss Katie. Come on, hurry up. We gotta go to the other side of the vault. I'll show you where I go to school. I bet you didn't have to go to school. This is the school. Miss Katie runs it. It's boring most of the time, but Grant says I have to go anyway. Your Grant is a smart woman, Austin. School's a waste of time. Learn to shoot a gun instead. That's what I tell Grant. She says brains beat brawn every time. Next stop is the medical clinic. Let's go downstairs. I'll show you the clinic. Doc Forsyth and Rachel are okay, I guess, but I don't go there unless I have to, or unless Grant makes me. This is our medical clinic. If you get hurt or sick, come down here. Dr. Forsyth says I can't bother him or Rachel while they're working. I think I've had enough touring for now. Well, this was almost the end anyway. Welcome, welcome. I hope I'm not being presumptuous, but I'd like to ask you a favor. Would you mind donating some medical samples, even just a blood sample? Why do you need medical samples? It's for my research. The people of Vault 81. 
have been genetically isolated from the Commonwealth for many generations. I'm trying to determine what the genetic variation is between the two populations. Sure, you can have some blood. Excellent. Just have a seat, and I'll draw some blood. This will only take a sec. There. Hardly hurt a bit, eh? Thank you. This will be a great help. Now, I need to get these prepared immediately. Nice, Pip boy. Whatever starts acting up when you see Alexis, she'll fix it right up. Do that here? What if the overseer or Whitaker caught you? Cut me some slack, Tina. I've been working hey. twelve hours. Hey, outsider, straight. do no me a favor. Idea, if my good for nothing hey, brother asks you for both Jeff, just get lost tell him to buzz off. Killing my buzz here. With pleasure, sir. Who's your brother? His name's Bobby, and he's my poor excuse for a twin, so you can get a good idea of what he looks like. Look, he's a junkie, but he's getting careless. If he gets caught, we're both in trouble. And as much as I'd like to leave this canned paradise, that's not how I want to go. You want to leave the vault? More than you know. There's got to be more to life than this vault. But if I leave, it's on my own terms. Not because Bobby screwed it up. Now I admit, I've got my own share of the blame here. Bobby gets his chems from me, and I keep him on a short leash. But not anymore. I'm cutting off his useless ass. So his addiction is your fault. Nice. Hey, I made a mistake, all right? At least I'm trying to do something about it now. Please direct any maintenance requests to Mr. DeLuca. They will be handled in the order they were received. Staying pretty busy these days? Quite so. Mr. DeLuca has made it his life's work to occupy my time. Not only do I specialize in reactor maintenance, but now I am trained in doing his laundry, fetching libations, and generally picking up after him. Mr. DeLuca sounds like he prefers slacking off to actual work. Ah, yes. I've heard those very words repeated by several citizens of the vault. However, they should be grateful. Mr. DeLuca's knowledge of reactors is limited at best. It's really better he remains hands-off. Hey, the outsider. You lost? No trading going on down here. Where am I? Generator room, can't you tell? Look, I I'm not even sure if you're allowed in here. Most of the trading's done in the atrium. I can tell you how to get back if you want. Oh, and hey, if you got any jet on you, I may be willing to take it off your hands. Say, 75 caps? I'm not a dealer. I don't sell drugs. Hey, forget I asked. Seriously. And if you could keep this little conversation under wraps, I'd appreciate it. Just don't let Tina know she'd be all over my ass. Bobby. I heard outsiders were dangerous. Do you really need that many weapons? It must be rough living out there. Hi, mister. 